Hey, I am cooking carnitas tonight, but first I've got to cook my rice in my pressure cooker. So I'm using jasmati rice or jasmine rice, which is pretty good. Nice white long grain. I have about a cup and a half. Pour it into the pressure cooker. There she is. Two cups of water. About a, it's like one and a half times. A little bit of oil, or in this case, some margarine to prevent frothing of the rice while it's in the pressure cooker. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. And because we're doing Mexican tonight, how about some lime juice? All right. And if you have cilantro, you can add that. I'm going to put the lid on, set it to not venting, add my little happy minion to protect the underside of my cabinets. I'm going to hit manual in 10 minutes for rice. <clears throat> so that'll go off and pretty soon we will have rice and I'm going to do a natural release for another 10 minutes before I let it go. But I will unplug it so that the keep warm function is off so I don't burn anything. All right. All right. We're back and we're going to turn my little happy minion. <laughs> And the rice is done. <clears throat> I'm going to dish it out and then I'm going to come back and we're going to get the carnitas started. Alright, I washed the pot. I made sure and dried off the bottom really well because you don't want any water going into where the electronics are. And now I'm ready to start my carnitas, which you're going to need about an hour and a half to cook. So overnight, I yesterday I put in, we cut up a picnic roast into about two inch size pieces. So you can use a pork picnic roast. You could use, you could use um, country boneless spare ribs and cut them up. Um, so any pork that has a bit of fat. Um, and then I put it in a bowl with some about a tablespoon two teaspoons to a tablespoon of cumin i love this uh, savory peruvian chili lime seasoning and the mark root lime sea salt and uh some oregano uh and orange juice and lime juice and let that sit overnight as a nice marinade now i'm just gonna dump this whole thing carefully into the instant pot It'll cook in the marinade liquid. You just need about a cup of liquid in there, which we have. I don't need to add any more spices, but I am going to cut up an onion here into quarters and just throw that in there. So let's get that cut real quick. Take off that outer layer of the dry stuff. Hopefully you're seeing this okay. And so I'm just gonna cut that up into four pieces. Maybe eight pieces. And then I'm going to take the onion and drop it in. And I use sweet onions because my husband, uh, his tummy is delicate. And I would have added garlic to this recipe if it weren't that I was cooking it for my husband either. So you're just gonna throw the onions in there. It's just gonna add flavor. These onions are gonna be pretty much destroyed by the time we get done. So let's go ahead and seal up. Oh, and I gotta plug back in because remember how I told you to turn off the keep warm. I'm gonna add my little minion buddy here and I'm gonna set it to manual and then I'm gonna go all the way up to 90 minutes. And by the time this is done, <clears throat> and we're gonna let that start. By the time this is done, this meat will be pull apart with a fork easy. 
and I'm going to slice up another sweet onion and some red bell peppers. And I'm going to take some of that liquid. I'm going to start cooking the onions with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then I'm going to take um, some of that liquid and put in the uh, bell peppers and kind of steam them up a little bit with the flavoring of the marinade from in there um, that's been cooked. It'll be super yummy. And then we will have carnitas ready for dinner with some lime rice.